Okay, so we have Rax versus Summoner. Uh, not sure if Brinsky is back with me yet. Um, but yeah, this should be pretty darn hype. Uh, okay, so we got Greninja versus Byleth. Byleth is a secondary for Summoner. Um, I've never seen Rax play Greninja. This should be pretty interesting. <clears throat> Right away, to be honest, right. I don't know these players that much, so... <laughs> the, the, yeah. Both, both yeah, so really, really good players. Really, really good. Um, so yeah, they're just ca cautiously spacing around each other, both respecting what each other has in neutral. Nair combos into itself from, on Byleth. So yeah, he's having to be careful of that. Also sets up tech situations. Rax has to play aggressively, but precisely, in order to avoid these combos. And it looks like he's doing just that with the Nairs and the Bears coming out here. Facing on shield, getting away, playing hit and run. Very, very, very even, even match so far. Yes, very, very even. This, I don't. This might eventually run away from summoner, but we'll see. It just depends how well he can adapt to Rax's high mobility, because uh, Byleth is not a fast fighter. Um, at oh, all. absolutely. Ooh, savage bear there. I said savage, not nice. <laughs> Ooh, oh, we're going for that gimp? Uh oh. Oh, that was that was close. That was close. Good attempt. Very very close. I respect it. Healed and grabbed. Put off stage again. Playing very, very carefully here. And the savage fair just takes care of that stock very quickly. Giving Rex an early stock advantage in this first game. Yeah, it... This is what high-level play looks like. Um, just very precise, playing around shield, trying to figure out what the other, uh, what you can do that the other can't, um, and trying to avoid their own special tricks, your opponent's special tricks, for sure. Absolutely. Seeing them full play here. Ooh, nice conversion on that up air, the bear there. I think up air has like a drag down combo, if I'm not mistaken, um, on Greninja. I'm not, not entirely sure, but uh, I'll I'll go double check that once I get the chance. But it it seems to be having having a very similar effect to that on on Greninja at the moment. So I would yeah. assume that yeah. Right now, a lot of Summoner's attacks are just falling on Shield. Like he's kind of wow, that killed. Okay. That just killed. Uh, was not expecting that. I wonder if he died that. Not that at all. Yeah, I wonder if he DI'd that. That felt early, even for Greninja. Like, that just... Sure. Yeah. I'm one... Anyway. A lot of Summoner's attacks seem to be mostly counter-attacks. He's not... He's having a hard time going for his own stuff, and it's mainly Rax controlling the tempo of the match, launching his own attack, anticipating the counter... Oh, okay. We're good. Uh, anticipating the counter and just dealing with whatever Summoner throws out. He's being very yeah. calculating about dealing, dealing with this, but that short hop fair will take care of that. Stuck with the sweet spot. Yeah, Rax is attacking in a very calculated manner right now. Punching a neutral get up with the grab. Neutral get up is definitely the been the meta for ultimate. Um, you have to go for the other options. Just to mix it up. Oh, yeah. yeah, I forgot about that conversion. Um, the off special and the side special. Um, but the problem with neutral getup is that a lot of people expect it and look to punish for it. So despite the fact that it has the least amount of lag out of any of the options off of ledge, you have to be really careful about using it. Right. Time. Ooh. Yeah, Aerofar might be able to be used to space out some of Greninja's approaches considering his range. Although, Water Shuriken... Um, Kind of zone breaks that. We'll see. His facing on Aerofar has gotten a lot better over the course of this game, but it was not a good There's the there. biggest hit, and there's the knockout. Yep. And that will go to 1 0 in Rax's favor. You know, with the way that this match started out, or that this game started out, excuse me, I'm I have a strong feeling that we may see a game a game three in this set. Yeah, I I think there's a possibility for it. I think uh, somewhere we'll have to pick a faster character, assuming Rax stays with Greninja here. Um, and Rax uh, in the Discord, he is staying with Greninja. Um, the summoner didn't quite have the speed to deal with the hit and run tactics of Greninja. Right. 
Perhaps with better spacing, he could deal with Byleth, or use Byleth to deal with that matchup, but it's definitely an uphill battle. We'll see if there's a switch. For sure. Again, Summoner is a Joker I main, but we'll see what he decides to pick. Byleth is a secondary. You know, I've been noticing that a lot a lot of the picks from um, from the winners of these matches are very are very keen on up close and personal uh situations. Like you have have you have characters like Ganondorf or maybe even Bowser if you want to count that. Um that have been used quite a lot in this tournament. And one of the main things that I've noticed about those players' playstyle is the fact that they like to get up close and personal, and if you can't zone and if you can't zone yourself away from that then you're just going to get bombarded from attack after attack after attack and you won't and you won't be able to find any kind of openings. Right. And I think to speak to that point, um high level players are capable of handling a larger number of interactions more quickly. And we see a wolf come from summoner. Um that's Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, this, oh, this, this be good. I man. think this is a good counter pick. Um actually assuming his wolf is up to snuff. Um but yeah, but high level players can deal with more interactions, so staying up close and having more of those on shield interactions, the whiffs and all that, works to their advantage because they can process that uh, better than lower level players. So right now, do it a, a lot of the same. They both have to play up in each other's face here. Neither can really zone the other. Um, yeah. I mean, Wolf Laser and Water Shuriken will phase right through each other, so they'll just be trading on that at best. Um, so. Right now, Summoner Rax has been able to maintain his position on stage very efficiently, um, staying grounded, right. going for landing punishes, and just been able to stay grounded. Uh, I would argue that Summoner has had a hard time finding where he should stand in order to deal with this Greninja, because that position is constantly changing, to be fair. But they're going neck and neck. They are going neck and neck. Ooh, nice nair yep. off stage. Oh, okay. Very, frame. very oh, close match up here in the second game. Yes, this is a good match. Oh, and the There's landing on the platform first is red stock. with the up smash. Now, if Summoner finds himself at a percent deficit uh, soon, he will have a hard time bringing this back. Um, yeah, because as we saw from last match, even with a light character like Greninja, Rax has been very good about hanging on to these stocks because of his hit and run tactics. For sure. Okay. Now, how is Wolf going to be able to take this stock? I feel like an Not offstage fair. Not entirely sure at the moment. Yeah, I feel like he's just either going to land like a raw bear or an offstage fair or something. Like, I don't think he's going right. to get a smash. I just don't. I think they're just too slow on Greninja. But right. He will have a hard time landing that bear. And we're kind of seeing that unfold here where Summoner really doesn't have op kill options to go for. Because a lot of them are just too slow. And with the right. deficit, he can't be patient. He has to go in and take the stock before he loses too much percent. 150% on Greninja is no small feat. No kidding. Edge, edge guard. Oh, I thought the fair was going to come out there. I don't know if that would have killed, but that would have been close. Oh, yeah. He went for the up smash. Oh, gosh. That up smash takes it. Yeah, this is what I was talking gonna, about. This yeah, is absolutely. This is going to be a very difficult situation for um, for Summoner to come up, to come back from now. I mean, despite the fact that um, Rax is 159 damage at the moment, I mean, he's still got three stocks. If if yeah. Summoner could somehow keep his damage percentage low until he can get those, until he can get two of those um, stocks knocked out, I don't see I don't see a comeback coming here. And that just isn't happening. He's okay. Oh, the bear did. Wait, was that bear didn't even take him out? Wow. That must have been a really weak hit of bear. But yeah, Rack is doing a really good job of reading Summoner's landing options on the platforms. He's going... There it is. Um, there we go. He's doing a really good job of reading how he's landing, and that f smash will take it. Landing yep. reads are some of the strongest reads you can get in Ultimate uh, because of how much lag is associated with landing, especially with a move. Um, and Rex definitely put that on full display here in this set.
Okay, so that will be Rax 2-0, and this was only a best of three sets, so unfortunately that will be the end of Summoner's Run uh, today. So we will be moving into Loser's Simmies now, which will be Rax versus Carson.